Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily add core data into your existing Xcode project. So basically, if you already created an Xcode project, but you forgot to or didn't think you'd need to hit that core data checkbox while you're creating the project, I'm going to show you how you can easily add it into your app so that you don't have to start over and rebuild that whole app. So if that sounds good, let's open Xcode and create a new project. I'm just going to use a regular app. If you already have a project created, then you won't have to go through this, obviously. But I'm just going to call it Core Data Example. And I'm not going to check this box down here, because we're going to look at how to fix it if you had not. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop, and I'm going to make our Xcode window a bit bigger. And I will switch my simulator to the 12 Pro Max. And the first thing we're going to want to do is head into our App Delegate. Now, in here, we're going to have to do a couple things. We're going to need to create a persistent container down here, and we're going to need to import core data. However, before we can do that, come up to this yellow folder and right-click, choose New File, and scroll down until you see the Core Data section and choose Data Model. Then I'm just going to call mine Example Model, and I'll create that. So now we have this um, XC data model. Now, in here, we're going to come down here and say Add Entity. If you click on the entity and hit Enter, you will be able to rename it. So I'm just going to call it Example ent Entity, if I can spell there. There we go. And under Attribute, I'm just going to hit this little plus, and I'm just going to call it Example value. Now, it really depends on your Xcode project, what you're going to be creating in here. Um, this is just to show how you do the core data. I'm just going to set the type of this to be string. And we're going to head back into our app delegate. At the top, go ahead and import, whoop, import core data. Now we can work with a bunch of core data stuff. We're going to come down to these last curly braces, and we're going to need to go into, or rather paste, a bunch of code in here that would generally come with this. Now, I don't have it copied, so I'm just going to quickly um, create a new project, and I'm going to just call it something random so that I can get that code, and I'm going to click this core data, and I'm just going to create it here. Now, in the app delegate, you will see, here, let me make this bigger so it's not confusing. You will see this core data stack. And this has a bunch of code in here that we're going to need to copy. Now, if you think about it, we got all of this in our other app. But all of this comes with what you get when you check the box. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this. And I'll just close this project, and I will come into our other one, the core data example, and I'm going to paste it in here. Now, we need to, well, we'll just get rid of that to make us good happy there. The one thing we do need to change is, um, let's see where it is. Here it is, let container equal ns persistent container. And this name, I'm just going to get rid of this real quick. And what we're going to need to do is change this NS persistent container, this name. So we're going to change the name to our specific project, which is core data example. Now, if you don't change this, you're going to run into some errors. So make sure you do change that. Now, let's see in here. The next thing we're going to want to do here is pretty much go into the view controller or whatever controller you're working in and you're going to want to import that core data that we just created. So say import core data. Now you can work with core data. You can save, you can do all of the things you would generally be able to do with core data because now you have put it into your app with all of this new code. So I hope this video helped you. We're not going to be uh, continuing an application here. I just wanted to show you how to get it into your app. 
if you didn't click that checkbox. So I hope this helped you, and thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comment them, and I will do my best to respond to you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!